We be like, my man. I'm here with AAB, Rastafarian, man. My big homie KP. How you so, feel, big dog? Vibing, bro. I'm chilling, bro. As always, man. It's a, it's a blessing to be here right now, even doing the interview. Yes, sir, man. It's great to have you, man. It's been a lot, man. Your name has been in the, in the whole lot lately, you know. Um, More recently in the music game, man, you just dropped a crazy single um, with A.B. Pluto, man. For and sure, yeah, yeah, going, going hard. That shit is that's, going crazy. Yeah, that's that's um actually the first feature that I dropped with him in um in like two years, bro. Yeah, since my situation and shit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, man. But hey, you actually went you know crazy on that verse, man. And it sounds like you got a lot to say. You know the way you you came out. Um, you know we heard the, the I heard the reference to. Uh, you know the the verbiage of the glitch. You know, long live hella bands. You know, long live my boy. I, so I know I hear so, you, brother. I, I I see you got a lot to say, um, and that's why you know I I had to call you up, bro. I said we had to do it. Um, <clears throat> you know, more specifically, the people know you. You know, because you know AAB. You guys move strong. For sure, you know, man. you guys move real strong, it's a, it's man. A, it's, a, it's a brotherhood, and it, 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 it ain't a gang. Nah. We're your family, you know. So sure. you know, most of the people who who even able to claim <coughs> AB or even got the tattoo, it's, it's a brotherhood. It's, it's family, <coughs> nothing but ten year plus. Yeah, you know? but that's the crazy thing is that like you know you know you're not a gang. You're just a brotherhood, literally. You're just a group of guys that start, you know, you guys start calling yourself AAB, started moving the way you guys do. And you guys got a lot of people that really, really want to be like you. You know, literally, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but a lot of people really want to be like you and, and are really trying to follow in you guys' footsteps. And you guys are really big influences, you know, throughout the city, man. It's crazy. For sure, it's been that way for a long time, so... You know, we got to keep doing what we doing and keep living a lifestyle and keep moving the way we moving because we do got a lot of people who, who looking up to the movement and want to be a, be, a, be a part of what we got going on, you know. So it's only right that we keep this shit going the right way, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's been a long, I mean, like you said, it's been really a long time. I mean, I could testify to this. In years, for sure. <laughs> How you guys are moving, man? And for sure, it's definitely a strong music uh, uh, movement. So going into your music, though, uh, what are some things that we can expect uh, coming from you, man? Because I mean, that last track was just a glimpse. I mean, I feel like we haven't heard you in forever, yeah. bro. Like, so it was just like, man, when we finally got a taste again. It was like, all right, man. you know what I'm saying? It was a slap too with the, with the music, bro. It, it's, I'm finna come. Well, not like right now. I just got like uh, as as I'm as everybody know. I'm I uh, got this case over my head. Mm-hmm. So as time go by, my situation is getting better and better. So basically, like at first when I first um, got out the feds on mm-hmm. bond, I couldn't make no music. They mm-hmm. was actually using my music against me, using the, the lyrics that I was saying against me. So I was restricted from going to the studio, and then. Things got to getting better as they were seeing that I was on the right track and moving the way I was moving. Then I was able to get in the studio. So with the music, bro, I got a I, I did when I first got out, I did a mixtape called Strictly for the Feds. Mm. Um, it's talking about my whole situation. That mixtape been done, bro, since I twenty seventeen. Really? You know, you just sitting on it. I like all. I'm talking about bangers going. It's talking from. I'm talking about the beginning of my situation to the end, like all facts, no sugar code, no mm. nothing. If you want to know what I've been going through and how everything went, you gonna hear it on the tape. You know, I actually got a tape that's with um, one of the other artists in my group called Jilla Lafleur. Me and him got a tape that bit done, uh-huh. and me and Pluto got a tape that's done. Really? So, I'm talking about. I got. I, I got over 200 tracks, bro. Recorded mixed finalized that's ready to be dropped that is i'm just waiting on the right time you know so you've been working man definitely definitely been working like people don't even understand like i've been working and ain't even been able to get like to sh- give it to the fans because of my situation so 
I'm hurt at the same time as I'm working and trying to, you know, keep everything going. But it's like I, I can't even feed the streets for real. Yeah, not the way you you know you'd like to. And because sure. I mean, the last track was definitely a slap. If you got a tape with Pluto, I mean, I think the streets at this point is definitely yeah. gonna want to hear that. For so, sure. <clears throat> and and then yeah, I mean, if you got if it's been holding you back, it's unfortunate. But at least you got it ready to go, locked in the archives. You know, so that way once this bullshit is over. So, I mean, while we on it, you know, let's go back to <coughs> 2017. Um, let's start off with, you know, uh, exactly what it, what is this case they have against you? Uh, as of right now, um, I'm fighting a federal case for um, bank fraud mm -hmm. for um, USAA banks, you know. Um, I actually plead guilty to it as of right now, so I'm awaiting sentencing. You know, um, I got caught in 2017, and it, it been tragic since then. Yeah. Um. So you know, 2017. How exactly? You know, through all the uh, uh, you know everything that went down. How exactly did you you know essentially get caught? Um, I got caught. Well, the way that I got caught and actually got sent to jail was by, um, in 2017, I was actually cooling with a couple of other artists up in um, Atlanta. I had mm -hmm. just got a house in Atlanta. I moved out of town. Um, my fucking, um, I just moved out of town, just got a house in Atlanta, bro. I'm out at, um, at the club, Medusa, mm -hmm. vibing. I'm talking about me and a couple of my homies, hella bands. Um, I was cooling with a homie of mine, Javante Davis. Um, Meek was in the building, motherfucking Quavo. I'm talking about we literally mm. shut the club down, bro, 100 bottles plus, like, between mm. us. Um, I actually had, when I moved to Atlanta, I rented a car. I rented the, the new Jag, whatever, for that year. It was 2017, so I rented the new 2017 Jag XJL. Mm. Um I go to Medusa, bro. I violate a car a hundred dollars, bro. I'm talking about I leave out the club, the motherfucker Jack gone. You feel me? I'm I'm snapping on valet, man. What the fuck going on, bro? I valet my car is missing. I, I paid y'all a hundred dollars, so why was the car taken? They like, bro, if if the car missing, it had to be taken with the key, but I had the key on me, so. I, um, the next, the following day, Shit. I go, I, I go report the car stolen, bro. I'm talking about, man, I go report the car stolen. They playing with me. They yeah, okay, it's another police who finna come. He finna um come and, um get the information on how everything worked. So I'm. Um, they told me to take a seat. When I take a seat, bro, the whole police district come through that joint, guns out, searching me like I did something wrong. Uh -huh. At that, I didn't know that I had a federal warrant, you know, so they land me on the ground. You got a federal warrant. The Secret Service looking for you. I ain't even know who the Secret Service was, bro, so I'm lost at that point. I'm like, what I got a warrant for? I'm reporting the car stolen. Y'all putting me in cuffs, throwing me around like I committed a crime, and I'm reporting my vehicle stolen, you know? Right. Man, they put me in the car. They like, man, you got a federal warrant for Secret Service, and then they said bank fraud. Mm. From that point, I knew what time it was, you know. Called my pops, got my lawyer on deck, and there, and there was the road trips from there, you know. Yeah. So it was. It was Shit, man. Yeah, Joe. It's crazy. Never been to prison before, no background. So when when that situation came in front of me, I was really lost, you know. Mm -hmm. I ain't, this this my first time being in this situation, and then for it to be federal, like you know. State, that's little business, but when the feds come, you know what time it is, you know? It ain't, they don't come for the little dogs. They don't come for no pets. Yeah, no, nah, once they, you know, and that's why they probably had to, you know, be so serious once they actually had you, you know, in a place that you could sit down and they were damn near scared once they yeah. said the Secret Service was man, looking for, for you. So sure, I was scared myself, Shit. bro. I'm like, I'm lost. I'm questioning them now, man. Who, what, what's the Secret Services? Who that is? Well, then when I did research on that, you know, them the people who protect the government. So uh, they ain't to be played with. Them. That ain't just anybody, you know. So it was tragic, bro. Damn. So they came and snatched you up. Um, you make bond. 
and you've been fighting it since then? Yeah. Um, actually, I, I went when that, um, <clears throat> it was crazy, bro. When they snatched me up, I was in um, DeKalb County. The feds came and picked me up the following day. I went to um, court in Atlanta. And they was asking me, like, do you want to fight the case out here or want to get transferred to Chicago? Of course, I got transported back to Chicago for the simple fact that this was my family was there, right. you know? So of course. Um, it, it's crazy how they move, too, because, you know, most people would think, like, you know, when you watching movies or you thinking, like, you're going to get on a bus and they going to drive you. Bro, I was on a plane. They flew me back to Chicago on um, an airplane. It was me and probably 100 other inmates all of us on a plane bro feet shackled hands shackled on a plane on a plane bro like I was unbelievable like i'm really on a plane with handcuffs in front of me feet i'm talking about you got to use the bathroom you better you got to use it with cuffs on it was crazy but in the mix of me getting flew back to illinois bro they flew me to um to oklahoma first that was the transition in city so i had um stopped at oklahoma I was in Grady County for like a week, like chilling, bro. It was just a learning experience, bro. Like I'm chilling in there. Then I finally, um, me and one of my co-defendants met up there. I seen him in there, and um, we ended up getting transported back to Illinois. And then I, um, it was so crazy because they pulled some BS with me when I was going to bond court. Um, <clears throat> me and my co D, they sent him to bond court, and we were supposed to have court the same day. But they was trying to build, um, they was trying to stop me from getting bond because I was on the phone talking to my homies, you know, telling them like, man, Joe, hold it down for me when I come home, you know, we going to go crazy with this music. But they took it the wrong way and thought that I was saying like, when I get out, I'm going to continue to commit this crime or continue mm. to do something. Like you speaking so, some type of bullshit, cold. Yeah, so they, man, they, <laughs> Jesus. they made me miss, bro, bond hearing, bro, so... The next day, I go to bond hearing, and they was telling my lawyer, like, yeah, we're going to let him out. We ain't going to go against him getting bond for the simple fact he ain't got no background. Man, I went in bond hearing. Them people dogged me out, bro. He's a gang leader. He's a gang chief. He got drugs. He got wow. guns. He's a threat to the community. He don't let him out. He going to have these group of people working for him, man, all type of stuff, bro. Um, a part of my bond stipulation was that they didn't want me around none of my a b members because they because they said it was a game to the judge so the judge i don't know how said i couldn't be around all of my homies they put all of their names on a sheet of paper and told me if i get caught around any of these guys that it's going to be a violation so wow i've been out you know for for two years and a half and can re even really be around my my brother pluto that's my brother blood brother mm -hmm. bro and he was one of the people who name was on that list you know so it was like i was in a fucked up situation bro like it was it was it was it's bad bro them people will fuck you over bro and i'm talking about and it's just when i was looking at, at the way them people was talking to me it was it still all went back to me not having a background you feel me so mm -hmm. like y'all sitting here dogging me out i'm a gang leader or nothing like in the, in the streets of Chicago, a young black man, the age of 24, he a gang leader, gang chief, whatever. He got drugs and all that with no background. That's, like, kind of hard to believe, you know, yeah. coming from where we come from. Exactly. Like, come on, man. It was, and, and the judge, it, like, got to honor it because at the end of the day, they don't know you from a can of paint. And they feel like the prosecutors is the people who investigate you, and so they got some say truth to it, you know. So wow, little do they fucking know. I mean, they don't really know. I mean, we come from that, so if we did, you know, they would. It wouldn't be hard to find. Trust me, <laughs> it's not. I, I mean, these police, the CPD is ruthless. They know these people by name, face. They'll pull up on your block for real. Yeah. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. So. It's crazy, man. It's just, you know, did like, you just bought a house in Atlanta. You, you know, you at the tip top. I'm talking about, man, Joe, I was living life. I was just, um, as you know, um, Atlanta is where it's going down there with the music, bro. Like, yeah. so, of course, me trying to pursue my, um, my dreams and yeah. the music industry and 
you know, Atlanta is the place to be. That's where it's all going down. And so, you know, I made the power move, move me and all of my homies out to Atlanta. I'm talking about we had an um, a eight-bedroom house. Mm. I'm talking about decked out, you know. We 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 was finna invade Atlanta, you know. We was finna link up, try to politic with a couple of mainstream artists and, you know, push forward with everything that we had going on. I'm talking about it wasn't even the money, and I ain't even paid my... Like, it wasn't even the money in, bro, before I got snatched by the feds. So that hit us hard. You know, we looking like everybody was scared. Yeah. All of my homies ran back to Chicago. It was like, man, motherfuckers ain't know what was going on. Yeah. Man, who else they was coming for? Yeah. People, you know how got people. Yeah, for sure. So I, I took a big loss with that too, bro. Like, that shit hurt it, bro. For real, I had a lot of money invested in that that move to Atlanta, bro, that yeah. I lost on. Damn. That shit must have been crazy, man. And, you know, to really think that, you know, you gave up so much shit for that, you know what I mean? It's just like a lot of people don't even know, dude, you were, you know, damn near top 100 player in the country, basketball. Sure, people Joe. don't even know this shit. People don't know, bro. Like, <laughs> it's feel crazy. Me? For sure. Like, you really were that, like, if we really sat back and thought about it, and I'm being honest, I don't say this about everybody, I, you know, I played with some dogs, you would probably have been NBA bound had you, you know, stayed, just stayed in the NBA or basketball course, like, for sure, and it's crazy. And that, and that's what I be trying to stress, like, I, I'm, like, that's playing a big part of my case, too, because I'm, I'm, I, I really, like, want them to understand that, you know, some people, young black men who commit crimes and go to jail for certain stuff, they just look at you like you, like everybody else, you know? But mm -hmm. like when I caught this case, or even when I made the decision to commit this crime, you know, I lost a lot that, because I could have been better than this. I really didn't need this, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I, I lost college um, scholarships, yeah, bro. I lost opportunities <laughs> yeah. to even, like, I like, like me knowing how I played and that I was ranking, bro, me coming out of eighth grade, I was top five in Illinois, bro. Yeah. Like this ain't no cap. This on yeah, no, you this can Google not, this. No, seriously, yeah. yeah. That you can Google this, bro. Like me knowing, like even if I didn't make it to the NBA, bro, I knew that I had at least an opportunity to to play and to get a degree, to, at least you know all types of shit, which could sure, lead to bro. everything. So, me making this wrong decision to start to do bank fry really like put a big leap because it it, it set me back a lot, bro, and. My family was disappointed, you know. Like I, I got good a good family support system. I got my granddaddy, um, yeah. who who full fledged behind me. He was upset with me. My father was upset with me because I wanted to stop um, playing basketball to because I was making a little bit of money at the time and that I was doing music. So I, I, I disappointed a lot of people in a mix of me doing what I was doing. So you know, it it, it it's just. It, it, it hit me now that you know all of this happened it made me sit back and look at everything and really think about how i should have played everything out at the time you know so what's like you know now kp's older 24 you know um lovely daughter you know family man now you actually a real good businessman now What's the biggest takeaway that you can get from everything that's happened since 2017? Um, like, basically, like, you want to know, like, where I'm going to do moving forward? Yeah, like, like what's, what's KP's mindset now, you know, um, since To then? be honest, bro, um, I don't know. People don't, another thing people don't know is, you know, I started my own alkaline water. Yeah. Health and that H2O. Um, me and my brother started it. Um, I'm actually in the um, it's a Maxwell Chicago's Maxwell's up in Atlanta. I'm actually mm -hmm. in there. I'm at many different gas stations in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, I'm actually going to be getting up in a lot of clubs in Chicago. So I actually own my own alkaline water okay. that people don't know nothing about. Mm -hmm. People probably done purchased this water or be drinking it and not even know that I'm the the owner of that company. Mm -hmm. Um. Man, Joe, I'm, I've been doing work with um, 
Nick Irvin over at Morgan Park, you know, um, trying to see if I can um, help out with the basketball. Yeah. And, like, not even if I can't do that, like, I know it's a lot of young people who look up to me. Yeah, and, dude. Um, that I know I can at least go up there and talk to them or yeah. at least, like, <clears throat> keep them on track because it's a, it's a lot of people who, like, what people don't understand is in Chicago, this this white collar crime, bro, this bank fraud, this is what's happening right now in yeah. Chicago. This is what everybody want to do. This is what everybody think is cool. And I know I want to be the person who can actually talk to a couple of these young glass guys and stop them from following my footsteps. Right. And and, and, and especially if I know that it's, it's, it is a lot of young guys who – actually play basketball yeah. who can have the opportunities and that make the look right decisions. You, you know, you know so, it, so yeah so making sure that you keep everything in line for sure. especially for the young guys that are coming up and and you know especially like you know we played at morgan park so we know the lineage that comes through there they look up to the players before them it's always you know a brotherhood for everybody going throughout the years. So sure. especially going back, you know, you mentioned going back and helping out Nick Irvin. That's the one of the best things you can do for the city, for the community, yeah, giving for sure. back, always for giving sure. back. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm my saying? main man, Nick Irvin, bro. Yeah. He he played a big part in and my my footsteps on everything with the basketball. You know, yeah. like so it's it's only right that I go back and help him on and whatever he need me to do because he know that it's a lot of young players who who, yeah. who plays for him right now that look up to me as, exactly. as a big brother that i can you know talk some sense into so um i want to do that um i want to push forward with the music bro mm -hmm. um yeah, the music's definitely. So let's talk about the music. Like, where do you, where are we going? I mean, that that track really uh, for me it was more of like a, a statement track for you. Yeah. The way you came on the track, you know what I'm saying? It was a, first of all the track was a great vibe. You know, I'm actually just playing it in rotation now, like regularly. And so, but the way you came on the track, you know, it, it just sounded like you had just. It was more of a statement. Like you're still here. Like you know, motherfuckers don't sleep type yeah, thing. For you sure, know? bro. I'm going to tell you like this, bro. The, the way everything is going with this music, bro, we finna make some real big moves, bro. Yeah. Like, my brother, he got his head on A.B. Pluto, J.D. He, he's working now. Like, and that's that's the only thing that, that was holding us back at a point in time because it was like I was working, 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 and he wasn't. And then he working, 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 and I wasn't. And now we got Jilly LaFleur on the label who's working, working, working. So... It's like another thing that was holding us back was that with this music, bro, we could have we been in this music stuff for a long time. But the only thing that was holding us back is is the yeah. what I was doing with the with the we was making money. So we wasn't putting our all into the music because we think we making money. We didn't need it, you know. So we wasn't really grinding the way that we were supposed to because we were seeing rapper money already. Right. So we weren't really taking it as serious, but now we understand more, you know, and now we, we really locking in with this music stuff, bro. New J on the way. I just got two new chains, bro. We got new <laughs> yeah, cars. I saw, bro. man. A new uh, chain. Long live hella bands, bro. Fuck, man. Yeah, um, long live hella bands. That shit's crazy, though. <laughs> I'm, that I'm, shit's I'm, crazy. I'm finna make a statement, bro. I ain't finna play with these people, bro. You got the KP chain? You going back to the KP For with? sure. No, like, oh, I got the KP chain because at the end of the day, you know, that's you who I KP, am. KP, you know? yeah. And then KP my initials mm -hmm. anyway. Right. So, you know, so I just got the new um, KP chain and the, um, the AAB hella bands memory pendant. Um, from Artesian, mm -hmm. um, Jewelers, bro. Shout out to them, bro. Yeah. Um, VVS, um, yeah, all around. You know, <laughs> I, I'm, yeah. I'm making a statement, bro. I ain't, I ain't finna play with these people, bro. I'm finna step on their necks, and, and my artist is gonna do the same thing, bro. We yeah. all on the same page now, and we know what the goal is and where we head to. So, yeah. No, I mean, I, like I said, that track was a statement. I'm definitely looking for a, a, a project. Like, as soon as we can get it, man, I, I, I just... I'm telling you, bro, I ain't even going to lie. Before before you um, get out of here today, I'm going to just... I'm going I'm to give you a couple oh, yeah. of the records, bro. I'm going to let you hear some stuff that ain't coming out, bro. I'm <laughs> telling yeah. you. That one was just a tease, bro. Like, me and JD, we, me and Jilla, mm. bro, we got fire, bro. I'm talking about real gas, yeah. no breaks, bro. I'm talking about... 
real records, bro. Like, yeah. man, Joe, I'm telling you, bro, we've been working, bro. Yeah, because that track, when you came up with that, I was like, oh, yeah. But then, you know, like, <laughs> I, I'm trying to get some old major features, you know. I yeah. already, um, one of my old features with Lil Durk and King Louie. I got the feature on YouTube and a video with G Herbo, mm. you know. I got, um... I'm one of the only artists who who ever got a feature with Dirk and um, King Louie, you know, True. before they beef. Before, yeah. So that's a mm. that's a, a a classic. Um, I'm trying to get some more major features, bro. I'm trying to really work, bro, and and, and get things going, bro. For yeah. Sure. For sure. That shit, man. Hey, y'all got to do it, man. Now that now that this shit is coming down to the end and the nitty. You know, it's time, and and then depending on what we got coming up, you know, this fall, hey, so. either 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 way it go, you know, I think uh, AAB is still gonna be strong. Man. I think y'all got a way yeah, that's kind of untouched that everybody's trying to get to. You know, definitely, definitely like, well, everybody's kind of running in circles. Cause yeah, <laughs> because I'm, and, and that's another thing, bro. Like, that's that's another thing that I was thinking about doing, bro, to um actually expand the brand mm-hmm. because I know it's a lot of people who look up to us and they want to be a part of the movement. So I'm I'm also looking to like sign a couple of artists to okay. to the label, you know, like at the end of the day, it's always fine to say, okay, yeah, it's all ten year people, um, in in our group or it's a family thing. But at the end of the day, it, it's still good to expand the brand mm-hmm, and, the and bring other good guys yeah. in that can help and, you know, make everything bigger than what it is. So that's another thing I'm looking into, um, investing into a new artist, bro. Like, uh, I'm trying to come up with the budget right now and how much I want to sp- um, spend, you know, but I'm thinking like 50 to 100,000. You know, cash events, no no rap cap, none of that. Right, no cash, 360 deals. Know, <laughs> no, none of that, none of that cash. Bullshit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it when I do it, you know. I got new AB pendants on the way mm. um, for the whole team. Yeah. Like, we, we finna make it, we finna make it shake, bro. For sure. Yeah. KP says it's time to start fucking around now. Right, for sure. I'm finna, I'm finna make it do what it do, bro. Yeah. Man. KP. Um. I appreciate you, man, uh, for allowing me to, uh, to come down. We we chop it up, especially because people have been been wanting to hear so much about you, and you've for been sure. just so on the straight and narrow. And we did a lot of talking off there, and, yeah. and, and and you just sound so locked in and focused on getting things together. Really, 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 you know, uh, legitimizing yourself. You know, focusing locking in and, and getting things done you know and 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 that's the mindset you need to keep going forward yeah, for sure and, Joe. you know you know it, it it was only right we did it because even before yeah. this you know me and you was locked in yeah. when we played for morgan park so <laughs> yeah. it, it was just crazy that you know i was in the music and then you yeah. doing what you doing right now with the interviews and uh-huh. working so it's like we both in the same field from yeah. both of us coming from on that court together you know yeah. so Really it's, it's a blessing to be able to, you know, help <laughs> yeah. each other. You know, I, I like sure. what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I actually been needing an interview, and, and, and it was just perfect that one of my brothers from MP was the one who was already yeah. in that business. So, yeah, you know, definitely. You know, right. <laughs> never so, know how shit, yeah, yeah, it should yeah, just, just out, work out the way it needs to work out. But definitely. I definitely think things always work out in your favor, man. I think That's you got true, some bro. of the greatest luck that God can give. So yeah. you just stay focused, man. Stay locked in. You know, stay with your family and shit, man. Like you said, man, just make shit shake, man. A B so, gotta just keep moving. <laughs> Y'all gotta so, keep going. Sure. Let's do it for sure, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Was f-
told glitzes and we told clouds. Uh, yeah, I keep that drink on me. Two bad bitches that drink on me. Uh, I catch up that drink on me.